We back, man. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, everybody having an amazing day. Now, this one's going to be a dope one. If you're new to the channel, go to the comments real quick. Shout out where you watching from. Shout out your city, your town, your hood, your country. Whatever you rep, shout it out. My name is Ferg. I'm from Harlem, New York. And we're going to get to the first shout out of the day. We're going to shout out uh, Angel Lavosi. Said they what? Or they named probably Angel Avo Yeah, I guess it's Angel Lavosi. Said they watching from Italy. They must be a 50 Cent fan because they said, bro, you look so similar to 50 Cent. Good video, respect from Italy. They must be a fan to be complimenting 50 like that. But, you know, we rock with 50, we rock with Power, we rock with uh, Raising Cane. And so, you know, we're going to let that one slide. Mad love to Italy. Now we're going to get into this one. Yo, first I'm going to say rest in peace to Mo Bad. Rest in peace to the homie Mo Bad, man. Like, I, I got put on to him a little later, but his music is fire. Now, Naira Marley just dropped something. I want to say this is the first joint he dropped since I've been covering Mobad. I'm not going to lie. All the comments in the Mobad videos are saying all kinds of stuff. You got conspiracy theories. You got some people just think, you know, they just going with what their opinion is. But, you know, Naira Marley, I know Mobad was signed to him. They was close. You know, I don't know how it end as far as how close they were towards the ending. But this is probably going to be a, a response to, you know, all the backlash and everything that's been going on. Or probably is not. Y'all let me know. I covered some Naira Marley. Shout out Naira Marley. His music is fire for the people that don't know. His accent mad strong. And, you know, he he keep it true. You know, he keep it true. You know what I mean? He not trying to sound American enough. And so I might not catch some stuff. I do got the subtitles on, but I will need y'all help. Anything I need to know, y'all go to the comments and y'all let me know what he's saying. Anything y'all think I want to know. Because, you know, I'm, you know, I like the music and I want to know what he's talking about too if I'm not catching it. But we're going to get into this one real quick. This Naira Marley, this official interview. Let's see what he's talking about. Yo, what I want to say real quick. Yo, that song that was starting, was that like that I'm on my own? Is that something that's old? Is that a part of this? And I also want to say, when I first started covering this music a long time ago, people told me, they was like, yeah, you know, the commercial, the, the guys you guys know overseas, he's not as they're not as big as Naira Marley in Nigeria. So y'all let me know, is Burner Boy, David O. Whiskey, the people we know over here, like the people that don't just, you know, all the way listen to Afrobeats all the time, but we know them. Are they bigger than Naira Marley? Because what I'm hearing is Naira Marley is bigger over there, but just not big over here. But y'all let me know. Let's keep it going. And I like this set. This set look fire. This little show. Is this a real show? Is this, this just for the uh, video? I like that. I'm on my own. That was fire. All right, let's see how this song sound right here. Okay. See what I'm saying? I'm not really catching what he's saying. And, and the subtitles ain't doing me no justice. They just showing music because the subtitles not catching it. But what I do want to ask y'all too is how close was Naira Marley and Mobad? How close were they? Like, were they like... Like Meek Mills and Rick Ross, you know what I mean? Like Jay and Kanye, what, what was it? Pac and, and Suge, let me know. See, his music make you want to dance, though. You got the girls coming through to the uh, cell. Yo, how big is these joints in the club too, man? What's Naira Marley biggest joint in the club? When it come on, everybody go crazy. You want to see crazy. You want to see Wahala. You want to see Wahala. You got to see madness. Anytime when you see me, I know Wahala. I know what that means. 
Okay. And what I'm hearing is this. Y'all let me know if it's true or not. I'm hearing he's originally, he was born in Nigeria, but he grew up in London, was rapping, doing all that in London, got in trouble in London, went back to Nigeria, and that's where he blew. But he really like kind of from London. I think Brixton or something. So y'all let me know. I don't know. You know, I'll be just reading the comments that people say to me when I ask the questions. So I'm not 100% sure. I know I could check it out, go to, you know, Google and all that. But I'd rather talk to y'all. You know what I mean? Let's keep it going. One Joe, when you want my foot. If you ain't not got my lead, you must joke. Joke, joke. My guy, my guy, pa. Cause of God that they got. Okay. I go by that, pa. Come on, ring your rara. Oh, ah. Would you want to know my shit? Yeah. Would you want to know my shit? Because, because, because. What year he started rapping also? How long he been doing it? Because I feel like he a vet in the game, like he a veteran. But, you know what I mean? He still got like a new sound to it. But, you know what I mean? I'm not all the way, uh, uh, I'm not all the way sure, so y'all let me know. You want to see crazy. You want to see wahala. You got to see madness. Okay. Anytime would you see ya 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 ya. Ah, would you know my shit? Is this a strong comeback song? Y'all let me know since the last song. Shout out all my people that's high sir. All my people that's uh Yoruba. All my people that's Ebo. And you know we gotta shout out my, you know my people's in London, man. You know he from London too. I'm hearing, so you know we gonna shout out all my people in Brixton, Peckham. You know what I mean? We gonna shout out all my people, Hackney, Shepherd Bush, everywhere. What's the name of that dance? I, I used to see that dance a lot. I, my homegirl, she had moved out there, man. She came back doing that dance. What's the name of that? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it a buck. I didn't really understand too much to know if this really was like interview type joint, if he was addressing anything, or you know what I mean, if it was just a song. I don't know, so y'all gotta let me know, man. But the song was fire, man. The song was fire. Um, y'all let me know, man. Y'all rocking with it? Y'all rocking with Nara Marley? What's your favorite three joints for him? You know, and again, we definitely gonna say rest in peace, Mobad. Again, you know what I mean? I know that's his team and all that. And I know, you know, it's probably a stressful situation for him, too. You know, especially I I read some of the comments people sent me. So, you know what I mean? I was hearing all kinds of stuff from family, from friends, from all kinds of stuff. That I'm like, it's a, it's a sticky one. You know what I mean? The words of my people in London, you know what I mean? It's a sticky one. But rest in peace, Mobad again. That was Nara Marley. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. All right? Peace.